You're listening to Let Me Tell You Why You're Wrong, all on Georgia Radio Network. Yeah, my hair is looking crazy today. I went to the gym like right before this. So. Well, at least the body's banging. <laughs> oh, Lord. And that starts our show. <laughs> Welcome to episode 19. So, uh, we're here. It's episode 19. We've got a lot to cover this week. Uh, we've got gay bashing, multiple Californias, stupid lottery winners. We've got legislators going after Kegel. And we have news. We have an update on Chris Severe. So, be sure that you stay tuned in for that. But um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna start with uh, some some uh, people out in Athens, a uh, a prominent GOP leader who wrote a series of uh, anti LGBTQ or anti gay uh, in you know old nomenclature Facebook post on Tuesday, the two year anniversary of the Pulse nightclub shooting. Um, Joan Gilbert Roden, she is the uh, President of the Conservative Republican Women of Northeast Georgia, and is the wife of Athens Chair Gordon Roden. Um, she says, uh, "This is not about equality. It is about propaganda of an alternate lifestyle that is a clinically diagnosed disorder. Are we supposed to be okay with this? Are you?" Um, it begins. Uh, Tell me again how homosexuals are not after your children in school and at Target. Which, of course, I don't know if everyone has seen this, but there's a uh, there was a photo that is circled around a lot on Twitter and a lot on Facebook of a, and I'm not sure of the exact origins of that photo, but it's uh, pretty clearly at a Target. I don't know if it's at one Target or at all the Targets, but it's uh, basically some pride uh swag for children uh you know the take pride rainbow hanging from the ceiling uh you know got a photo of some cats that say pride uh photo of a, <laughs> photo of a unicorn that's, oh, uh, that's uh, funny i'm sorry that's really yeah. pride <laughs> yeah so uh it's I don't spelled, like to. It's spelled P U R R I D E. Yes, yes, it is. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm not a huge fan of like politicizing children, but that's some good stuff right there. Yeah, well, you know, one thing that you would hope that the Republicans would have learned by now is that politicizing the uh, the homosexuals never ends well. Um, when, when you go after the gay people, then it just, it doesn't end well for you. It never has. And I'm just shocked that they keep trying it, but. Well, my thing is more along the lines of, you know, this is not the first time in the last three or four months we've seen a GOP chair or a leadership person in the media being criticized by the other side. And my whole issue is, is ever since Joe Dendy you know, was arrested and charged and convicted and serving time for child molestation while he was the GOP chair. Like, I- 